Okay, so this morning the mini demo is about wiring. Is we will be just a little bit of talking. Uh, we don't uh, gonna wire a tree or doing like crazy sketches uh, on a board. Uh. So what I wanna do is just trying to give you some tips, uh, probably to make your wiring better and faster. As a professional, since uh, I started with bonsai and I was still an amateur, I always try to find out uh, a way to solve uh, this big. Uh, mystery about wiring. Originally you go on a club uh, and they tell you you have to wire a tree to give a shape. So you start putting wire as it comes uh, and then the look, the look of the tree is awful. You move a branch, these branches go up uh, and the tree like, like, is like a muppet. You know? So along the year and especially when I start uh, doing bonsai more professionally and I have to give workshop to people, I have to teach people. So before teaching people, you have to teach yourself. So my wire, wiring was already, I can say good, uh, not as good as now, but uh, I have to find out uh, and start uh, decomposing uh, my wiring method uh, to be able to pass the information to the people. So I came out uh, with this kind of a system that is not this big uh, invention, but is a way that uh, I can be able to explain and make, especially my students, uh, to wire and be conscious about what they do. With my experience going around the world uh, and teaching people and doing workshop, uh, most of the time I find out that uh, the people just wire because uh, they think uh, the tree needs to be wired to move the brands but they are not conscious about the system they are using. So I try to simplify this uh, and I always say that when we look on a tree, we are looking on a system. If this uh, world can, be, can switch on something on you, we can think uh, that the tree is like a mathematical system, it's a function. How we solve the function? We solve the function, the mathematical function, decomposing the function in parts and solving the parts in smaller pieces. When everything is solved, the function itself works. The tree is the same. We have the main trunk, we have primary branches, connected to the primary branches we have a secondary, third branches until uh, the smaller one. So already thinking about that, uh, we can already think that our tree can be subdivided uh, in smaller systems. And the smaller systems are the primary branches. So what does this mean? It means uh, that uh, if I have to work completely a tree, I will start from the lower branches and I connect uh, two by two going up and separating these branches by themselves and by the trunk. So this tells us another thing. This tells us that a piece of wire has two ends. One end go to one branch and the other branch and uh, go to the other branch. So the rule is always that uh, every time we have to put a piece of wire to our tree, it has to connect uh, two branches together. And this made uh, the rule uh, of the anchor. So we have to anchor our wire on top, on the side or on the bottom of the trunk or on the branch uh, to be able to hold the tension because the tension is our friend and in the same time is our enemy when we work a tree. Is our friend because if we know how to manage the tension we can be able to move the branches in the direction we want. Is our enemy because is the force that can break trunks or branches if the tree is not wired properly. How we use the tension? We use the tension wiring 
the tree around the branch. So, starting from my anchor, every time I put, a, I put a piece of wire, half of the wire go in one direction, that can be, for example, clockwise, and the other half go in the other direction, that can be, for example, counterclockwise. So this means uh, if I have uh, the two directions in the two sides of my side of my wire, always the main tension go back uh, to the angle. So we loop around uh, in steps uh, and angles along the branches because we wanna give uh, and move tension in an equal way along uh, the length of the branch until the tension go back uh, to the angle. For example, if I have to move uh, a branch uh, in the front, uh, I'm going to wire this branch uh, counterclockwise because my counterclockwise direction is going to push the branch uh, in the direction I want. We don't have to think uh, about the movement of a branch uh, just uh, up uh, or down, but the movement is the rotation of the wire in the direction I want to move the wire. Why? Because I want to twist and uh, tight the wire on the branch while uh, I'm bending the branch. So what happened? The wire suck the energy, the tension from the fiber of the, the, the branch uh, and tight the fiber together so the fiber can split. The splitting in the uh, longitudinal direction on the branch uh, is not a problem because the living fiber are still able to connect the sap and humidity and the tree recovering is gonna fill these gaps that we made when we twist the branch. The problem is a crack that break the fiber and create a bridge where the energy, is, the energy of the tree is not able to pass and so the branch die. So, if you use the rule about the two, and every time uh, we redivide the tree by two, 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 coming outside, uh, because the other trick uh, is always wiring from inside outside, uh, we are gonna be able to use uh, just the right amount of wire in the branch, uh, have uh, a proper connection every time I have a junction, so I will have my U on top or in the bottom every time I have a junction. All the wire from the bigger one to the smaller one will be connected like an electronic system that if I touch this, uh, the tension can go back uh, on the next junction and back and back. And also we wire inside from inside to the outside of the tree because it's the natural movement of our arm. When I'm home uh, or when I work for a client, uh, I have a table that can go up and down. I have a seat that can go up and down. So I always uh, stand in front of the branch that I have to wire. The branch is at the eye of my chest uh, and my arm uh, just work uh, from inside, outside uh, doing this movement. Because this movement doesn't make my arm uh, tired. I have uh, sometimes to wire eight hours in a row refine a very big tree so I can't work in an uncomfortable position because otherwise I get tired and then my day is off but if I just do this movement my arm keep working for hour and hour with no problem so this is the best advice so as a computer that the way we talk with the computer is always a system about one and zero, the bonsai is also a system about uh, one and two, because we always try to redivide everything two by two. This also go back uh, to the penjing. Penjing that is uh, doing bonsai with no wire has also the same system of the two, because they always cut the branch, boom, they start to buds out to to to. Obviously, a bonsai or a yamadori, especially when we work on the first times, is not a perfect system. 
but if we know the basic rules of wire and we just follow these few rules I gave you, you will really simplify your work on the tree and not last but very important tip is that wiring is very stressful for the tree, especially for the first time we do it. So, as better as we can do the wiring, less stress we give to our tree and more chance to not having problems in the future, you know, growth of the tree we have. What exactly is causing the stress? Stressing? Yeah, what, what when, uh, when you bend a branch or you wire a branch that is something <laughs> unnatural for the tree because we are bending branches with something that is unnatural, the trees in nature, they just grow and eventually snow or, uh, or the weight itself of the branches bend the branches down. So it's something along a very long period of time. It's not stressful for the tree, but taking branches down uh, and bending a lot of the fiber of the tree give uh, a lot of stress uh, to the fiber itself. So if this is done properly and uh, conscious of what, about what uh, you are doing uh, and before already putting your wire on the tree, you have already a project and you already know I'm going to do this, this and this and you plan your work, your wiring will be more efficient and again less stressful to the tree. Manipulation is an unnatural thing. Jean, Shari, all these things, they give stress to the tree because they take out humidity from the branches. So the tree can hold a certain amount of stress. If we go over that amount, the tree is reflecting that, losing branches to save itself or dying. If we take a juniper from the garden that was growing in that pot for many years, is full. We cut 90% of the branches. We wire all the branches left and we give a lot of stress. This tree is going to die 100%. And I'm sure all of you had that experience, bad experience. But if we know what we do, and also we do everything along the line in steps, uh, this can save the life of our trees uh, and make uh, the afford we do to, for do bonsai maybe bad, in a better way. Any question? No question. Come on. Everyone is a perfect wire. How do you decide when to use a guy wire and when, when you use a wire? So, the proportion between wire and branches uh, for copper or aluminium, in my opinion, is one-fourth for the copper, one-third for the aluminium. Obviously, sometimes we are going to work branches that have uh, a big thickness. So we can't uh, proportion the, the wire on that branch uh, with the same proportion I just tell you. So I try to use uh, for those branches uh, the stronger wire I have and then sometimes I have to use a guy wire to push uh, down the branch in the direction. Again, even for the main branches, every time I guy wire a branch uh, to move the tension, I always try to move uh, the tension in two directions. I never use for a branch just a guy wire pushing in one direction but the guy wire is already uh, split in two. Because doing that uh, and along the line, I can remove the tension and I can make the fiber of the wood uh, to twist uh, in the direction of the wire. This is very, very important, uh, especially for bigger branch. We use guy wire for uh, some refining tree because we don't want to use a big wire that uh, we can see during the exhibition, so we use a guy wire. For example, here I use a big guy wire because I want that uh, apex, uh, the, the second uh, section of the trunk uh, from here to here was just a uh, straight vertical. I want to give a little bit more line, so it was not useful to use uh, a big wire or try to wire that part. Uh, I just use a guy wire here and then with other little guy wire I push down this branch to not overwire. Again, overwiring is no good, too stressful. A little guy wire, just move the tension to one point, easy done. Other question?
Rudy, you have a question? <laughs> it depends. There is not a rule. So, most of the time, if we work a tree for the first time, uh, the, the tree was never worked before, the trick, uh, the season after the work, uh, is to let the tree grow free. So what this mean? Mean that, first of all, the tree is gonna grow. The, go the tree is gonna thick up the branches. The wire is gonna cut in some part, especially the part that you bend more, so you create more damages. They will swell, because it's a natural reaction of the tree, because you create breaks, uh, inside of the branches and the tree is going to feel those breaks so that's the reason why the branches swell. We have uh, to keep an eye on the tree and eventually if uh, on some part of the tree on some branches the wire is biting in we just cut those parts off. Don't remove all the wire because otherwise uh, some branches will stay more or less in position some other branches will lose the position because not every branch uh, reacts on the wiring in the same way. When I have a more mature tree and I'm pruning that tree and uh, stopping uh, the spring stro uh, strength uh, of that tree, the tree is not going to swell. So my mature tree, for example, they can stay wired three, four, five years because I control the strength in spring and then I let them grow to create more foliage. But that uh, second growth uh, is not a gr an elongating growth uh, that can produce uh, swelling on branches. It's just a growth to produce more or little foliage. More question? Sandra, you have a question? No question. Your friend has a question? No? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Guys, do you have a question? So. Sorry? <laughs> I don't speak German, I'm sorry. Seems uh, I'm German from my surname, but it's a fake German. <laughs> so, if you go on my YouTube channel, Mauro Stenberger, I just released uh, an interesting uh, video about wiring uh, early this week. Uh, so I, I work on my place a large, uh, that is uh, one of the easiest three in terms of uh, seeing the wiring. Uh, and in terms of having a tree that very, is very easy to manipulate, it's a very flexible tree. Branches are super flexible. So, I work uh, in my studio on that tree, and uh, we build a video, thanks to my wife, that put everything together, to try to explain uh, this system. Or, if you want, you can uh, purchase a copy of my book, uh, and the last article in my book, uh, is about wiring and there are some QR code that are related to video online where you can see the different operation of wiring, the tool, the anchor and everything in detail by videos. So many options to... And if this is not enough, you can send me an email and I will explain you again. Okay? <laughs> but or Italian or Spanish or French, but not German. <laughs> Thanks That's so it. Thank, yeah. thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.